wet and gravelly. Fuck me. This is shit. How you going, mate? G'day, trendsetters. Fat Cruiser here, your friendly Illawarra motor vlogger. How are we going today, guys? I'm doing superbly. It's a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning, and I'm out on the bike doing the uh, Berry Kangaroo Valley Robertson Macquarie Pass run. Fantastic. Loving it. But today, I just wanted to have a little discussion about how riding a motorcycle has made me a better driver. At least, that's what I believe. Now, I've always considered myself to be a fairly good driver, at least these days. You know, I haven't had a speeding ticket or a, a traffic incident, a, an accident, or a run-in with the cops for negligent driving or anything like that, at least since my early 20s. You know, I've had the odd parking fine here and there, but that's about it. And I've always considered myself to be pretty good. But there's just been a few things in my short time since I've been riding a motorcycle that have just led me to believe that I may have become just that little bit better at driving a car as a result. Yeah, yo. Uh -huh. Yeah, yo. You're on point five. Once again, tip. You're on point five. Once again. So the first of those things that I believe has made me a better car driver is a heightened sense of awareness. Now, that relates to what's going on around me on the road. Now, as a motorcycle rider, you really have to be aware of what's going on all around you, not just in front of you out the windscreen. So what I find now is in the car, not only am I just looking out what's going out in front of me out the, the front windscreen, I'm always keeping a, an eye out of what's happening around me, behind and on both sides. You know, to keep an eye on what traffic is there, what cars are around me, what's happening behind me. And I think that is probably one of the biggest things that has made me a much better car driver. So the second thing that I think has made me become a, a better car driver is the shoulder check. Obviously, it's a very important thing to do while you're riding a motorcycle. And I've always done it as a car driver as well. Before I've taken off and before I uh, change lanes, I always check over my shoulder to make sure that there's nothing in my blind spots. But what I found was previously, when I was looking over my shoulder while driving a car, I wasn't actually looking for anything. You know, I'd, I'd look over, I'd check, I'd see if there was anything there and I'd go. Fair enough, but now, since I've been riding a motorcycle, when I'm looking over my shoulder, I'm actually actively looking for something to be there. You know, I'm looking for smaller objects like motorcycles, pedestrians, bicycle riders. Whereas before I just check, very quick glance, I couldn't see anything, I'd go. Now I'm actively spending some time making sure that there's actually nothing there before I take off. And I think that's a great thing. This is the year that I'm coming and just devastate. My style is great, action equals can I dominate? My rhymes are harder than last night's erection. Don't blame it close, I have this mic up in your midsection. My shit is love, simply meaning that my joint is tight. So the next thing is that I'm now observing what's happening on the road a little bit more. I'm watching other car drivers to see where they're going and what they're doing. In the past, you'd see things happen on the road. You might see some guy overshoot the line at a stop sign and you don't really understand why he did that you know you just say oh shit look that dickhead just overshot the stop sign but now I'm actually taking more notice of what drivers are doing on the road and I'm getting a better understanding of why they're doing the things that they do you know I'm seeing what's happening in the lead up to those things happening you know sometimes you see a car you'll be swerving around a little bit in his lane you know someone that's not fully switched on not concentrating on what they're doing or you know you might see someone they're going a little bit too fast when that traffic up ahead is all stopped you know and you see that happen before they actually hit the brakes lock up and go oh shit the traffic's in front of me you know what i mean and i'm also finding that i'm observing the driver themselves sometimes those distractions they happen when you're when you're driving a car you know, parents with rowdy kids in the back trying to control their children, lady office worker running late for work doing her makeup in the car. All of these things, little distractions, 
that cause the lead ups to those incidents to happen. And I'm finding that I'm keeping an eye on what's going on inside the car as well as what the car is doing on the outside. And obviously the main culprit, the, the biggest thing that affects us motorcycle riders as it relates to other car drivers on the road is mobile phones. Fuck me dead. If I had a dollar for every car driver that I've seen with their hand on a mobile phone, I'd be a rich, 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 rich man. It's the number one distraction for car drivers. Absolutely bar none. Beautiful Kangaroo Valley. That's amazing, that view. And I suppose that brings me to the next thing, mobile phones. In the past, I had been known to hold on to that mobile phone a little bit on occasion. Maybe send the odd text message here and there. But now, no way. There's no way that I do it. Even if it's mounted, I tend not to touch the mobile phone. Sure, on occasion I'll probably, you know, press a button to change the track on my Spotify playlist or something like that. But these days, if I need to do something on the mobile phone, I'll either get my passenger to do it. Give us a sec, just got to concentrate through this turn. Yeah, so I'll either get my passenger to grab the phone, read out the text message, send a reply, you know, change the playlist, whatever. Or what I'll do is I'll find a safe place to pull over, stop, and then, you know, attend to the phone. It's a big no-no for me these days, touching the mobile phone. And it should be. It's got to be a big no-no for anybody, whether you're driving a car, riding a motorcycle, pedaling a push bike. You can't do it while you're on a mobile phone. So the last point I wanted to make is how I'm more mindful of motorcycles. Before, as a car driver, yeah, you knew motorcycles were out there, and you kept your eye out for them, you looked over your shoulder to make sure they weren't in your blind spots, blah, blah, blah. But now, it's no longer blah, blah, blah. Now it's more respectful and mindful of motorcycles, making sure that you really look out for them. And I guess the big thing is, in New South Wales, here where I live, lane filtering is legal, not exceeding 30 kilometers per hour. But now what I find is, when I'm in that traffic, that slow moving, fuck off traffic, I now spare a thought for motorcyclists and make sure that I leave some room in my lane for lane filtering motorcycles to shoot on past. It's only the right thing to do, you know? Keeping a motorcycle out of that traffic not only saves their life, but it keeps one more vehicle out of that massive queue that we've all got to fucking move through while we're in our cars. So overall, if I was to summarize this whole discussion, I'd say that riding a motorcycle has made me become an all round more responsible road user. So what I'd like to know from you guys, do you agree? Do you think riding a motorcycle makes you a better car driver? And if so, in what ways has riding a motorcycle made you a better car driver? So leave a comment and let's have a discussion about this very topic. So guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up, share it around your social media, definitely leave me a comment and make sure you click the hell out of that subscribe button. So that's all I've got today. I've been Fat Cruiser, you've been awesome, ride safe, and I'll catch you on the flip side.